Are your active campaign automations not working? In this video, we'll show you three simple ways that you can check your browser settings to make sure that they're not interfering with the functioning of your active campaign automations. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wild Mail, where we help make active campaign even better for European businesses. Let's check it out. So before we get started, I want to remind you how to create a contact to test your automations. So first, we're going to go to contacts. Inside Active Campaign, we're going to go to Add a Contact, the blue button in the top right. You fill out first name, last name, email, and phone number, and click Add. And when you're in that account, we'll just use Melania here as an example. When you're in your test contact, you can scroll down to the section titled Automations. And this is where you'll be able to add them to the automation. You can search it here. Find the automation that you're testing, add them to it, and then follow them through the path to test and see why the automation might not be working. Now we're gonna jump into the reasons why it may not be working due to browser setting. So the first thing you can do with your browser is to test Active Campaign in an incognito browser, so a private browser. And I'll show you how to do that with a Mac, and I am on Google Chrome. There are different ways to do this. You can Google the settings for your specific browser, uh, but for my case, if I go to File, and then I go to new incognito window, I'll be able to pull up Active Campaign. you'll have to log in again, uh, but you'll be able to do it in an incognito window, which is not storing all of the data that your typical browser is going to, uh, to be storing, right? So uh, that's one way. Another way would be to try a different browser completely. So I just have my Safari ready to go, just in case there's Brave, uh, there's Microsoft Edge, depending on you know what operating system you're, you're running. Um, you're going to have a variety of different platforms, Firefox, and you may want to test out your automations on a different browser. So that would be another way. And then finally, sticking to your same browser, you may just need to update it. So on Chrome, in the top right, you'll see three little dots. This is the More tab. And if I go to Help About Google Chrome, you're going to see it will check for updates here. And it's asking me now, so in the background, it'll typically keep your browser up to date. Uh, and it's asking me now to relaunch Chrome to finish updating. So it must have just found something updated to this version here. Uh, but sometimes you'll see a button here that says update. Click that. You'll see a, a, a loading icon. When it's ready, it'll ask you to relaunch. Click relaunch and you'll be using the newest version of your browser. And that can also sometimes fix issues that you're having inside Active Campaign Automations. So that covers everything around your browser settings. Use a different browser, use an incognito browser, or just update your existing browser so that you're using the most current version. Now, the second tip I wanna share with you is going in and clearing your cache or your history for your browser. Again, this is staying within your same browser. Sometimes clearing the cache can help resolve issues with your automations uh, and other features inside Active Campaign. So on Chrome, if I go to the three dots again in more, I go to history, I open up the history and I can go to clear browsing data. You can clear it. Typically, I would do all time for this just in case. And browsing history, cookies and other site data, and cached images and files. I will typically clear all of this just to make sure I've tried everything. Uh, it will sign you out of most sites. If you're using a password app or extension to store all of your passwords, should be no problem. You can just log back in. Uh, but you're just going to click clear data, log out close out of the browser, go back into Chrome, go back into Active Campaign, and then test your automations again. So that is the second way that you can test and, and try to fix your Active Campaign automations with your browser settings. And finally, if you've tested different browsers, you've tested an incognito browser window, you've already updated your browser, uh, you've cleared your cache, you've cleared your history, and it's still not working correctly, the last thing that you can do is a bit tedious, but it is testing, turning off, each extension that you use for your browser one at a time to see if it affects the performance of Active Campaign and your automation. So here, if I'm in my, my automations and you're testing it, it's not quite working. You're going to go up to this puzzle piece here on Chrome. It's going to be a bit different depending on your browser, but the process should be similar. We're going to go to extensions. We're going to go to manage extensions. And then from here, you can see the toggle for each one. Now I run a good amount of extensions. Um, and I'm sure plenty of you run more than this. 
So it is a bit tedious, but sometimes extensions can interact with different software, different platforms, different websites, and cause them to malfunction. So toggling each extension off one at a time and then testing the automation is another way to ensure that you've tested everything with the browser settings to make sure that that's not what's causing the issue with your automation. Now, if none of these adjustments to your browser settings help fix the automation issues, we'll have another video that'll walk you through some troubleshooting tips and checks and balances you can take inside active campaign automations to check the logic uh, the settings of the automation see what's happening with your specific contacts and why they may not be passing through correctly inside your automations you can always drop your questions below this video as well and if you're a customer you'll enjoy premium support with us response times in less than an hour if you're based in europe so definitely let us know at support as well now, I mentioned earlier I'd explain more about Wildmail. And at Wildmail, we are one of the top resellers of Active Campaign in the world. And at its core, Wildmail is just Active Campaign. So nothing changes with your pricing, your API integrations, your email sequences, your campaigns, your login, your password. It all stays the same because it is Active Campaign at its core. We inherit your next billing cycle, so you don't get charged anything additional by us but your next billing cycle will be through us. And then that allows us to stack additional benefits for free on top, especially for Europe-based businesses. So first we've got premium localized support. We are based in Europe. We're delivering it in different languages, English, French, Spanish, German, Romanian. And we're leveraging years of experience as an active campaign agency in the past to help you get the most out of this tool today. You'll get custom onboarding with our support team. Plus anyone on a plus plan or above will get a package of free consulting calls with us. If you're already working with a third party agency or in house, no worries. We'll do it with them. Now, we also have a library of free training you can use. And finally, we have Wild Metrics. Wild Metrics is our no code API based tracking app for the customer journey in Active Campaign. This allows you to track revenue by tags, revenue by automations, revenue by email campaigns. You can build out beautiful dashboards to make sense of the data and then optimize your campaigns to hit your next revenue goal. And you'll get a free account for that as well. So if you've never used Active Campaign before or Wildmail, you'll see a link below for a 14 day free trial through us. If you are using Active Campaign, no worries. You can move, there's no migration process. It's just moving the billing to us. It's a five to 10 minute process, super fast, and we can help you with that process. There's another link for moving your account below to get those additional benefits for free. And if you have any questions at all about wild mail, just drop them below in the comments or shoot us an email. and We'd be happy to answer those for you. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe for more active campaign tutorials and hit the like button so we can reach more people just like you with this content. That's it from me. I'll see you next tutorial. Cheers.